Hey guys, and welcome to another worship warm up. We're so glad that you're here with us today as we reflect back on last week's sermon and we look ahead to where we're going to be this week. Last time we were together, we were in John 5, verses 1 through 18. And we saw Jesus healing a lame man. And then we saw the Pharisees questioning that and, and really uh, coming to a point where it explains why they hate Jesus. And what we saw in that text was really a, a couple of different worldviews that were opposed to the biblical Christian worldview. Uh, on the one hand, we saw people who were overly superstitious and totally putting their hope in hopeless legends. On the other side, we saw people who were overly legalistic and their hope was in simply following rules and being good enough. And in the midst of all of that, Jesus is showing us the, the true way, which is to be a, a biblical worldview that finds our hope and our strength in Christ alone. And so I hope that you were encouraged by that. I hope that you were encouraged not to uh, put your faith again in superstitious legends or, or any of those things. They can't save us. And not to put your hope in following rules because ultimately you can't be good enough. But to put your hope again in Christ alone. This week, we're going to be looking at John 5 verses 19 through 30. And we're going to see all kinds of amazing truths about Jesus. But this week, I sincerely hope that you'll be praying and reading over those verses and, and come into this week excited and looking forward to what God is going to do in our service. And again, we're so glad that you're here with us today. And we look forward to seeing you on Sunday as we worship for this Palm Sunday together. Thanks for watching. We're so excited to kick off Holy Week with you this Sunday as we continue on in the Gospel of John chapter 5. Our songs this week are All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name, King of Kings, Christ is Risen, and Be Thou My Vision. Jesus was here on mission for His Father, and we're on mission for Him. We can't wait to see you Sunday as we come together and encourage in that fact and celebrate what's just around the corner, celebrating our risen King. We'll see you then.